Mm -hmm. Allergy season full swing. And that's why today our Aaron Murray is showing us an exclusive look at how we get our pollen counts right here in Omaha. It is a story you will only see on six. Okay, there they are over there. On the corner of the rooftop at Nebraska Medicine Bellevue. Here we have the two boxes. There are two odd looking machines. One similar to a windmill and the other, well, it kind of just looks like a box with a propeller on the bottom. But these two machines are very important. They give the official pollen counts for the Omaha area every day. And that grease picks up the pollen. And we sample at various times during the day, and then we count the whole day's worth of pollen at once. Basically, the samples are collected here, and then they're put under a microscope. And a certified allergist counts each spore, giving us our pollen count for the day. Today's number showing a very high pollen count, especially among weeds. The pollen levels will often help predict what someone is allergic to or predict the amount of trouble they'll have once we know what they're allergic to. Fortunately, seasonal allergies are very predictable. The plants that are causing the most problems in Nebraska right now are these two right here, common ragweed and giant ragweed. And it only took seconds for Dr. Brooks to find us a few samples. Here you can see the leaves on that. Honestly, if you've been experiencing a runny nose, itchy eyes, or have had trouble breathing, right now, ragweed is probably to blame. Dr. Brooks seriously has the pollen count to prove it. Every year here, there's more ragweed than everything else added together. Now, those two machines, they give the only official pollen count here in Omaha, and they actually take those daily and then post them on this website that I've actually put on my Facebook so everybody can see it. Yeah, Aaron, another option is just to check with me. I can let you know on the pollen count <laughs> side. <laughs> but those uh, machines you're talking about, uh, do they just count pollen? Actually, both of them also count mold spores as well. And actually, that one, they kind of change direction with the wind. That one's really good with all those mold counts. So you get all that information on that website. We're going to have to change your saying to not nicely done on days that it's terrible, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs>